that used to be that. Ooh, that's a lot of grinding. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm going to knock that out to where it's not so gougy, you know what I'm saying? That way I can use less body film, okay? Okay, there's the back side of it, and as you can see, it's a you know pretty significant dent. It's been there for a while, it's popped through and it's rusted, rusted out. So this is the reason why, you know, you got to watch your... Your body filler because it oozed out on the other side and it just caught dirt and crap in there um, it looked like a tube of toothpaste had been squirted through these little holes because the uh, body person who did this the last time didn't uh, you know they weren't a detail person they just wanted to make it look pretty and get it out the door Mucho better. Some more taps this way. I can put a light coat of the cream on there and that way it's not as bulky or as heavy. I could weld that up too, which I probably should do. And then grind her down with a flap wheel. But yeah, I'm very happy with that. That's uh that's a grill right there, you know. what I attempted to do, but it's carnage, carnage, carnage everywhere. Cut it out. Okay, so I took this piece and I, I put it in the vise. You can see where I bent it a little bit. But I bent it um, out of the measurement, which is a good thing, you know, because so basically it's a pretty good it's a pretty good match. I don't know how well you can see how that's gonna match up. Maybe put it that way. Okay. Alright, so I cut that piece of metal out. I I put it in there. Um, and got some booger welds on it and ground them down you know it's got some low spots as you can see right here and here but I'm going to fill this whole thing in with a nice light coat of Bondo and that way um, you know because it was it's already been roughed up by the the last guy who did all the body work so I'm just gonna finish that out I also tacked in those as you saw in the video before and uh, I'll obviously cover those up as well. Got a little minor rust issue right here. I couldn't wire wheel out that out, but I'm going to uh, probably try to grind that out and we'll cover that as well. So it actually turned out pretty good if you can see how well it's lined up. You know, I just wanted a nice solid backbone for the Bondo. Okay, here we go. I had a little hole right down here I filled in. So it isn't shiny now. Um, so I'm going to layer put a layer of Bondo on there, get it all smoothed up. Ok, 
Okay, now we're gonna cheese grate this down. Kind of a softer consistency, so. I'm trying to smooth it off a little bit. Could have probably waited until the could have found it out. Put a lot. thing about this stuff is once it hardens up it's really really hard so you want to try to manipulate it as much as you can while it's soft. And what you really want to get down are these, these edges that you make when you're doing your initial appliance of the Bondo it'll ridge up you know because you're spackling it down you want to get rid of those before it hardens because then it's a pain in the butt you sand it So the dark spots are the low spots, so I have to come back in and put some more filler in there. They obviously the metal when it comes through that's showing you the high spots. So I'm gonna you know have to give a nice another thin coating. That's all that. Uh, this was just the base coat, you know, of, of the filler. I made a big gouge right there accidentally with my cheese grater, but that's okay. Now when I was talking about the ridges earlier, um, I kind of I'm gonna get myself in trouble right here because I left a, a line of bondo right there and it's going to be really hard to get that out so i'm going to get a screwdriver out and i'll probably just run it along there to kind of scrape that out because that's going to be a pain in the butt to get out with sandpaper <laughs> this is about as exciting as watching paint dry Yeah, there it is, pretty much ready to go on this side anyway. Let's see. It's pretty darn good. I think. Once we get that uh, layer of primer on there. Okay, pretty good. Did the last layer on that. Last layer on that, and that, and that one up there had a little point. Uh, this one I'm pretty happy with. I think it'll be okay. And so I'm going to sand these down, and uh, it should be good to go. Also, I went ahead and drilled out my holes for my Ford letters. I don't know. I just love the way that these letters make the grill kind of pop. Um, I love the red and the chrome. So it was one of those things that I really, really wanted to have on this grill. So there they are. So I went ahead and I primered this yesterday um, and it looks pretty good. I've got a few minor blemishes, but you know, this is only the first coat. The one thing that I did notice was like right in here where I couldn't get to the grooves with my grinder. Um, I've got some leftover stuff, you know, so that's what I'm taking care of right now is I'm just taking the sandpaper and getting in there and getting rid of the rough edges so it's a little bit smoother so it looks nicer. Okay, so this is the last uh, rub down, I guess it be. I've got everything pretty much as good as it's going to get uh, with this grill. Pretty happy with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it down. With some the good stuff and then get all the dust off of it and then we're going to prime it again and I might even try to put a layer of paint on this today and you guys can see what the big reveal is going to be and what color I'm going to paint the old Arda Mugmentai so what color is Arda Mugmentai going to be oh I just teased you I just teased you is it that color there it is, nice aquamarine, teal, whatever you want to call it. It's 
kind of a little bit greener in this video than it uh, is in actual real life, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and spray this onto the grill and see what it looks like because I can't wait. 